Welcome back guys, um, in this tutorial we will be um, cleaning something up real fast. So I, um, in another one of my tutorials I created a enumeration and I tell you about what enumerations are useful for and if you've watched that and you're still wondering what they're good for, I'm about to show you because I don't like this example right here. So what I've done right is, um, block, wait, where, where is this, block, okay, so this is block, right, um, what I should have done is, instead of having this set type and having an integer, we're going to be using an enumeration to organize this, so we could do new, uh, enumeration, and we'll just name this block types, and then we'll just have our dirt, dirt, grass, stone. Okay, um, and right here we'll take a um, block types object. So block types, um, type, and in here to get block images, we'll also do block types. And then you'll see it give us, gives us errors, that's fine. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, what, what did we have up here? Private image block type. Okay, that's fine. Um, if type equals block types dot dirt, do that. If type equals block types dot dirt grass, do that. And as you can probably expect, if block equals block types dot stone. Wonderful. Run it. It'll give us errors. I know it. Because down in here, we forgot to do, um, so zero was, I'm trying to remember. Oh, and one more thing. Um, under block types, just do void. Or you could uh, do, um, error air block types. So in here just do air or block types dot air. Okay. And block types dot dirt. Or maybe I did that wrong. Dirt grass. No, but that's gotta be dirt. So dirt and block types dot dirt grass and one last one block types dot stone this is what enumerations are useful for <coughs> and you'll see I messed it up this needs to be dirt grass and this needs to be dirt Woo. So you see, it works. Correct. Um, draw blocks. We were having some trouble with this. I still haven't managed to figure this out. I promise I'll get to you when I do it. This was a real quick tutorial. I'll try to figure out what we're, what the problem with this is. Um, just for now, you could do plus 61 right there. Um, world gen, I want to take a look at this. That looks normal. Perhaps what I'm doing wrong is I'm, um, what, where is it, player. Maybe I'm setting this to the top of the screen and not actually setting it to the player. That could be a problem, because if I set that to zero, what I think, well, yeah, see, I'm, that's, that is, so I think what I'm doing is I'm setting it right up at that point. I think instead of putting the cornice right there, we accidentally coded it so it's right up there. Which is actually okay. It really doesn't matter. I think it's perfectly fine right now. It's lagging right now because I'm recording. If I wasn't recording, um, it'd be fine. One more thing I want to do for this cleanup is under creation. Instead of having this huge amount of blocks, we're going to have it 200 by 200. And it'll give us errors. That's fine. Do that. We have per world gen down there, and right there, do 200. 
and it won't give us errors, or still will. Where is it? Um, creation Java L. Oh yeah, okay. So um, do that, and later we'll have to create constants so that, and it still lags, whatever. But the reason we're doing it this low is because this might be the size of a chunk. In fact, actually, what we'll probably do real fast is uh, yeah, why not? Um, we'll make a few constants protected static um const um or um chunk x equals 200 protected const oh um I forgot something you guys hit this to an int there we go static and why is it giving me an error maybe, maybe it's because I can't have a static there or can I or maybe, maybe constant has to be before static. I, I'm I'm a little confused right now. Um, whatever. Just just remember that there's going to be a constant. Int chunk y equals two hundred. Um, so. Okay, um, chunk, so right here, we're going to set this to chunk x, to whatever size the chunk is, and then chunk e, I'll just call that chunk e, chunk x, chunk y, and we'll leave that, and then for road gen, same thing goes right here, chunk x, is that correct? Um, or do um creation dot chunk x. There we go, and then write down here do creation dot chunk y. We might want to move that into a folder called data, but for now leave it. Um, in fact, actually no, yeah, let's just do that real fast. File new class um data. Okay finish data you could do this and we'll just do this the really easy way just type in move and click data and it'll refractor everything for us and this didn't move for some reason so move this to where is it uh, refractor move data okay and it refractored it so now it's in class data so if we want to change it, we just have to go into data and change it. It'd be better than having in creation, because who knows what might happen there. And that way, if you wanted to, you could set it to 10. Set the chunks to 10. And then run it, and it will give you an error. World gen. Uh, well, maybe you can't do that much. Maybe if you did 100. 100. Okay, then it won't give you an error, and then it's going to be smaller. If you wanted to, you could do um, 50, and that gives you an error. I, I think uh, 60 still gives you an error. 61, how about that? And it won't give you an error, and then when you run it, it won't move. Because if you remember, draw blocks. It's you know it, it's complicated like that. If you try going over 61, if player dot get block x is greater than zero, go 62, errors will occur, things like that. Next tutorial will be t uh, fixing that up, and we'll probably be making different biomes or begin doing that. Begin doing more of the interesting stuff. Not saying that this isn't interesting. Until then, see you later.